Okay, so we're back on the concepts again. Now, related to the pronouns, the attached pronouns, the damir muttasil, that we've learned, ya ka ki hu ha. There are two abnormal nouns. Two abnormal, meaning they're not normal. They don't follow the trend that we just saw. That beautiful pattern that we just saw. Qalami, qalamuka, and so on. There's two words that are abnormal. <coughs> In reality, there are five, and some scholars say there are six. Okay? But the book, the author, Rahimallah Ta'ala, he's only introducing two of those. He's only introducing two of them now, and there's a lot of wisdom behind that. So later on you'll see the other the other three or the other four. So one of those two abnormal nouns. Okay? The first one is the word ach. Achun. Let's put it right there. Akhun. Remember what Akh means? Of course. Akhun, brother. Akhun means brother. Alright? And the other weird one is Abun. Abun. Ab means Ab is father. Akh is brother. So, brother and father, two weird words. What's weird about them? The way they're connected to the pronouns. These pronouns. <coughs> So we're going to see, we're going to give the example inshallah and you'll see them. When you attach the ya to it, the ya, it's actually regular. Nothing, nothing abnormal about it. But when you attach the ka, ki, hu, and ha, these four right here, it's abnormal. An additional letter just pops up. <coughs> so let's see what it looks like with a ya. <coughs> so you take the word ah. And you add a ya, <coughs> according to the rules we just learned, you will get the word achi. Achi, right? Achi, my brother. Achi, my brother. That's normal. That's what we've been learning all the time. That's correct. So it stays normal for the ya. Okay, so let's write it down. For the ya, it's just going to be, I'll put it right here. Achi, Achi, my brother. And also for Ab, when you connect the Ya, when you want to say my father, it's normal. Abi. Abi, Abi means my father. <coughs> Remember, this is a Mudaf and this is a Mudaf Nilehi. Mudaf, Mudaf Nilehi. Now the abnormal part comes here. Okay? When you take Ach, and you want to add the calf to it, you have to add a wow. So you're going to say, Ah, chuka. Ah, chuka. Ah, chuka. Where's the abnormal word? Which word just popped in? This one right here. This wow. Where did it come from? It just appeared. That's what's abnormal about it. Okay? According to the rules we learned in the previous videos, it would have been just Akhuka, but no, Akhuka, Akhuka, okay, you add an additional wow, Akhuka, and the same thing for your father is going to be Abuka, Abuka, Abu, sorry, Abuka. What's abnormal about it? This wow. Where did it come from? Mm. It just appeared. Okay. Well, it goes back that it comes from the root letters, the true root letters. But for us, this is abnormal. We haven't seen that so far. Okay, Ahuka and Abuka. So if you want to tell someone, where's your brother? Aina Ahuka. <coughs> where's your father? Aina Abuka. Now you want to say, my brother, is in the masjid. Akhi fil masjid. And you want to say, my father is in Medina. Abi fil Medinati. Abi fil Medina. Similarly, if you add the key, it's going to be Akhuki. 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 And the wow is there. Again, it's abnormal. And Abuki. 
Abuki, which means your father. <coughs> Remember, Ki, you're speaking to a female. And his father is going to be Ahuhu. Ahuhu. And Abuhu. Abuhu. Her brother is going to be Ahuha. Ahuha. And Abuha. 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 Okay, so what's abnormal? These wows are just appearing out of nowhere. Okay. Two abnormal isms. Ismani. Okay, so that's the abnormality of these two nouns. But you would make it with a regular sentence, with any sentence, that, 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 the same way you'd make it with the, um, the regular words. Uh, if you wanted to say, however, if you wanted to say uh, the house of Muhammad, <coughs> the house of Muhammad, you would say, sorry, not the house, the brother of Muhammad, Ahu, sorry, what am I doing? Ahu Muhammadin. Ahu Muhammadin. And Ahu is the mudaf, Muhammadin is the mudaf in ilahi. Notice that Ahu, it is the mudaf, but it's not attached. There's no pronoun after this. There's no pronoun. Muhammad is just a regular name. So anytime Ah is mudaf, is going to have this wow here. Okay? Ahu Muhammadin. How do you say the student's father? The student's father, meaning the father of the student. You would say, Abu Al-Talibi. Abu Talibi. Abu Talibi. Okay, you get it? How do you say, where is, where is the boy's father? Where is the boy's father? You say, Aina. The boy's father. Aina Abu. Abu al-Waladi. Aina Abu al-Waladi. When you hear the word Abu being used, you should think about a lot of people, their name starts with Abu, right? Or you refer to them as Abu. Abu Muhammad, Abu Fatima, uh, uh, Abu Isa, uh, Abu Bakr, okay? And so on. Abu Salama, all of these names. It is part of the Arab culture that they have something called a a kunya. A kunya is where they name themselves as, they are, as, as the parent or as the father of their, their children. So for instance, let's say I had a son and his name was Muhammad. Then I would call myself Abu Muhammad and people would refer to me as Abu Muhammad. They would not call me by my name, they would call me by the father of and they would mention my son's name, Abu Muhammad and so on. So whenever you hear someone uh, is being referred to as that, Abu Talib and so on is because they're being ascribed to their child.